Jesus had uh, two different disciples called Simon, and one of them had the extra bit called Peter to um, signal that he wasn't the other Simon, because Simon was the most common name around at the time. Uh, and that seems to mean rock. Um, so in Aramaic, he's called Kepha. In Aramaic with a Greek ending, it's called Kephas. So that's how it comes out in the New Testament. And also as Petros, which is the Greek word for uh, rock. Um, there is also a, a Greek word, feminine word, Petra, uh, which is the more common word for rock. But that wouldn't be appropriate for Peter since he was a bloke. So when Jesus in, in Matthew chapter 16 uh, responds to Peter and says, you're Peter and on this rock I will build my church, I think he was probably saying that um, there was a foundational role that Peter had to play uh, in uh, the history of the church. He was the first person to um, and preach the first sermon after the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. But there's also a sense in which Christ is the ultimate rock and his confession of Christ uh, is really the rock um, that everything is built on. Historically, there's been a dispute between uh, many Roman Catholics and Protestants um, uh, about what this verse means. D does the verse say that we need to have a, uh, a pope who descends or... or coming in a line from Peter as a rock that the church is built on. And I think that's not what the uh, text means, but but I do think it gives Peter a really key role. It's actually said that he has the keys and he does uh, open the door as he preaches the first Christian sermon.